Hey guys, I am trying my hand at some propagation today. We had a pine branch that broke and I love this tree. And I was like, man, I'd like to have a lot more of this tree. So I am trying to take some cuttings today and dip them in root tone. I'm gonna bag them up. It takes about a year with pine branches. Hopefully we will have some pine trees. So like I said, it's one of my favorite trees uh, that we have here on the property. And so uh, let me show you what I'm doing. As you can see right here, this is my propagating bucket. Um, I filled it with a bunch of my compost that was good and broken down. And I'm sticking them in there. They're all together. If they succeed, I will transplant them once they've taken root fairly well. Alrighty guys, here is the root tone. I have used all three and I've had success with all three. So I don't recommend one over the other. I do want to encourage you to wear gloves when utilizing it. And if need be, wear a, one of those little masks, the little dust masks, um, or just be really careful. Uh, you don't want to breathe it in. It's root tone, so you don't want to get any of that dust in your lungs. Uh, what I will do is after I have slightly roughed up my, my branches, as I will show you in my video, then I will dip that in water and then dip it into my root tone. Make sure you wash your hands after utilizing it. But like I said, I've had success with all three. And yeah, that's root tone. Alrighty, so these guys that are part of the hardwood trimmings, I have left, they're mostly hardwood. There's a couple semi hardwood in here that um, I've trimmed them down. They've all been in the root tone. I've left them about, I'd say, between 10 to 12 inches long. Um, a few of these, I wanted to see if it made a difference, leaving some of the green up top. I'm probably going to snip them right here, just so we have a little bit of the needles down below. We're even going to attempt to make a softwood cutting right here out of these. And this is my first batch. All right, no harm, no foul, right? Every day is a learning process. Will you be my beautiful guy to my Adonis to come uh, and uh, cover this plant for me? What time is it? Wait, it's... Mm. And my leftover space bags make for a great little greenhouse. You can also, with the shorter ones, you can also use leftover milk cartons. Uh, they make great little greenhouses when you've rinsed them out. So, alrighty. Let's go to the semi-soft and soft cuttings. Alrighty guys, I am going to be taking some of this alcohol and putting it in my jar. To rinse my clippers in. I'm just going to open them up in there. So the lower portion was the woody part of the branch um, that I showed you over here. Then we get into the semi hardwood right in through here. And then up top, see this right here? That's your new growth. That's been from this past season. So what I'm going to do, these should be good and rinsed. You want to rinse them in the alcohol to kill any kind of bacteria that may be on from maybe from a previous clipping. So I think I'll clip it right about here. You take some of this off right in through there. And then what I do, I like to go like this a little bit. Just rough up that portion just a tad bit. What are you doing? Huh? How's my princess? Hello. What did you do there? Did you do that? Break up that cup? <gasps> what? Maxi. Maxi. <gasps> jo Jo Jo. Jo 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 See how, how right in through here you've got your, your pine needles coming up? That is where it shows you where some of that, where that semi-hardwood is coming in. 
and then right here where you see the lighter part of your branch that's the new growth so when you're doing your semi hardwood angular snip so again I'm gonna peel away a good portion of these and right above here snip save my new wood some dynamic happens when you kind of rough up the the wood there I find just for myself and I've had other friends that have said the same thing that it stimulates root growth actually going to see where all these long pine needles are I'm actually going to snip right above there where the new growth is. Okay, actually, I'm going to do this one too. So it gives me a little end. It's really soft. Okay. Dippy dippy. Once these guys start to root, then I will take them out of their container and I will break them up and put them into their own individual little one gallon containers. So all of this is gonna be, I think I'm gonna do all this about the new growth and the semi hardwood. And I will let you know which takes the best. The hardwood, semi-hardwood, or the new growth. And keep in mind it is October. I'm doing this because we had a branch break on one of our trees. So that is why I'm doing this. And it it's not that bad of a time of year to do this with fall down prepping for winter so um, I think this is going to be all right Alrighty, that about wraps it up these are my semi hardwood and softwood cuttings and I'm going to bag them up right now and that should do it this one and my hardwood cuttings are ready to go we're hoping for the best like I said trial and error and when these guys start to root, when they have a good little root system going, I will separate them. And then I will go ahead and put them in their own one gallon pots. I repurposed a piece of plastic to go over that to give it kind of a greenhouse effect. What I'm going to do is put a bag over the bottom to catch the water. I don't want to soak these roots so that they rot. I just want to make sure that uh, they don't dry out while they're doing this so you don't want to have it too wet inside where their feet get wet like any other plant you want to make sure that they don't get moldy inside it's just going to cause the cuttings to rot and then you also don't want them drying out where they die so uh, just make sure to put a little pan underneath of it so it doesn't dry out too bad but you also don't want it setting in that water and drowning the cuttings Alrighty, hope that helps, and yeah, we will see. Hopefully it doesn't take a year, but I heard it can take up to a year to get cuttings from uh, pine branches. Alright, either way, I'm excited. I'm hoping for good success. And if it works for me, it can work for anyone. Thanks, guys. God bless. Do the thing. No, you say you know it's going to be a good day. Oh yeah, this morning.
woke up, I looked at my arms, and I was like, man, today's gonna be a good day.